Hi, my name is Matt, and I'm doing a series of videos to try and help people with their Ziku um, IP-based bell paging and emergency notification system so they can support themselves and don't need as much um, help from their supplier or their IT professionals. In this video, we're going to look at um, programming a phone. Now, Ziku does have a couple of phones. Um, but we don't use them uh, for our systems because they don't have ones that I believe are as user friendly as the Fanville, a couple of the Fanville series, especially the X210. Um, we're going to, I can't show you how to program every phone, but what I show you in this particular instance should apply to most phones. Um, you just might have to look at where those settings are. Um, so you're going to need the IP address of the phone. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Um, we might do that in another video. But I have the address of our phone. Um, it's a Fanville. It's not the X210. It's uh, X4U, I think. Um, and again, it's just admin, admin, all lowercase if you haven't changed the login already. And you'll probably find that most um, phones have this as their default. And then we're looking at... At the moment, uh, there's lots of things that you can uh, configure within the phone, but for just setting it up specifically for use with the IP audio center, we're just going to look at the um, network. Um, so just make sure you're on the same network. Again, we're set to DHCP, so um, if the rest of your network sets DHCP, this shouldn't be a problem. Um, if you have to set this up um, with a the static, then you can do so. Um, then we're going to look at our line. So our line is the line between um, the SIP server and the device itself. So this has two devices it can connect to. You can see SIP server 1, SIP server 2. Some phones have 4, some phones have 16. Um, so you could have a phone registered to the standard phone line and to the bell and paging system um, and how you utilize that comes under your function keys and things like that. So we're not going to go into that side of it really, but um, there's multiple things you can do. Now you can see we're registered um, and you can see we've we've got a line called uh, Ziku at SIP1. So that's created by the SIP server name. So within the, if you've uh, done the adding devices to the Ziku audio center, you would have already added an IP phone, you would have assigned it a SIP address, that a SIP address is what we've used here as the username, and then we give the display name which shows up um, on the phone itself and in the um, SIP server um, uh, registration uh, area. Um, we're not worried about a realm in this instance. Um, then we put the authentication user, which is also the SIP address, the password that you've supplied for that device, whether that's just 123 or whatever you've decided that that password is when you set it up within the audio center itself. And then I've just given the name, uh, the server name, Ziku. So you can name that whatever you want, and that name is what relates up here to that line. So if you've got um, more than one line, then you can have um, have them named rather than just saying SIP1, SIP2, SIP3, etc, etc. Then we put in the a server address, um, the server port, which if, as long as you've left that as standard is um, 5060, um, the transport protocol, and again, if you've left that standard in the ZQ system, it should be UDP, um, and uh, registration expiration, just leave all those things as what they are already. Um, it's really just a SIP server address that you're going to enter there, and then you're going to hit apply. And if you've got everything correct within the IP audio center, add them within the phone, it should come up and say registered. Um, once you've done that, the only areas we really change after that is the phone settings, where you might go into time and date and set your time period, um, things like um, uh, daylight savings time, all that sort of stuff can be set here, um, whether it's automatic, manual, um, all that sort of stuff. Um, and you might also change the media settings. And under media settings, there's also an option here that says media settings again. And that's looking at things like the volume of the handset, the speakerphone volume, the headset volume, um, the handset gain, the um, ringtone, uh, sorry, ring phone volume, um, 
all those options are all under that media setting. So whether you want to in increase the gain on the microphones and all that sort of stuff is up to you. Hands-free gain, headset gain, they're all under this one option. Um, once you've decided on um, what those are, I normally set the gains to maximum, but it does depend on your particular situation. Then we're going to be looking at the function keys, and the function keys, um, funnily enough, on the, depending on the version you have, like on the X210, the function key is at the side, and the side key is actually at the top. So I don't know why they've done that. Um, and you can choose to activate a specific line. So if you've got more than one line, you can choose to have um, this particular line be just for Ziku system. So you choose your line and then go through and dial your number. Um, and or you might have a different line. Otherwise, you might have a memory key, which is normally what we do. Um, and then within that memory key, you can have whether that's uh, your SIP 1001 or a group 6001, etc., etc. Um, which is uh, shown here on the function key side more more um, succinctly because uh, we've already got those created. So you see we can have multiple pages. Now depending on the model you have, how many pages you can have, how many um, how many there are to a page. The 210 is very good. It has a side um, uh, screen which gives you quite a lot of options. So you can have, um, I think it's about 30 on a one screen. Um, this particular option with the, with the four has up to five pages. Um, you can add new pages um, if you've, it starts with two I think, um, so you can add pages up to five um, or delete pages as required. And then depending on what you're doing with that but with that key, we're normally doing a memory key. We give that a name, um, whether that's room one, room two, room three, etc, etc. We give it its SIP value that we've created within the SIP server, um, the IP Audio Center. Um, I've never given a value to, um, and I haven't worried about uh, subtypes, but I just make sure that it's going through this Ziku system line rather than set to auto where it may accidentally, for whatever reason, choose the wrong line, and then you can choose an icon colour that shows up on the phone itself. And then you rinse and repeat basically for the rest of the numbers that you want to have. Um, and if you're doing a group, it's the same... Um, same thing, except your group name will be start with 6001, 6002, etc, etc. You can also have um, buttons that actually do specific things, like you can have it so it dials a specific um, task that we created in the dispatch guide. But we'll cover that off in a different video. Um, and that's really all there is to um, setting up the dispatch phones. Thanks very much.